of these things have helped me significantly on my journey so far. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis Kimberly. You guys responded so well to the video last week on relax your do's and don'ts that I figured I would just add on to the relaxed hair tips and give you five more simple, practical tips that you can literally pick up right now, today today so if you're excited then definitely hit the like button and hit the subscribe button the red button down below i'm like in theme i've got the red lipstick i've got the red nails like that's just a sign girl you just hit that button down below as well as the notification bell so that you can be alerted every time i upload a video every sunday all right this first thing this is what i want you to do I want you to take your cell phone. I know it's right next to you. I want you to open your phone. I want you to go to your alarm clock app and I want you to set an alarm clock for every night at whatever time is reasonable for you to moisturize and seal. We tend to set reminders in our lives for pretty much everything but our hair. We just like don't prioritize it. It's just not one of those things that we regularly think about. And I mean, this is a little TMI, but I've got a birth control alarm on my phone because sometimes if I'm not careful, I'll forget. So set an alarm in your phone right now to moisturize and seal every other night. Now, or every night, depending on how dry your hair is. For me, it probably works better every other night. We really wanna stay on top of our moisture because when our hair is in that deprivation state, it is already in a state that is more prone to breakage and we do not like breakage. So, set your alarm now and thank me later. And definitely watch my last video to understand why I strong, Lee recommends that you moisturize your hair at night because it makes a world of difference. Now, the next tip that I'm going to suggest to you is twofold. It is to not only use enough product on your hair that your hair actually starts to absorb the product, but once you've got the product on your hair, make sure to work that product into the hair. Massage it into your hair. Don't just let it sit on top of the hair. The same way that we take some time to moisturize our skin and rub the lotion into our skin, we've got to do the same thing with our hair. It's not enough to just put the product on your hair and say, okay, product, do the work. There was a point in time when I was just, you know, taking a quarter size amount of conditioner, putting it on one section of my hair, doing it again, moving on to another section and not actually working it into the hair. Guys, do it. Do it. I'm telling you to do it. It's something about the body heat between your hands, warming up the product and smoothing it into your hair that really makes a difference. So take the extra 60 seconds to work the product into your hair. Now the next thing goes without saying, it is protective styling intermittently. And I know that some people hate this advice, but it's you, you, you just gotta deal because hair needs a break. We do a lot with our hair. We manipulate it, we style it, we straighten it, we put it through all kinds of stress. The elements put it through all kinds of stress. And I truly, truly, truly believe, and I know that we talked about limiting beliefs in my mindset video, but I truly, truly believe that there is such a benefit to doing protective styling. Whether you like wigs, whether you like braids, whether you like just to use to do buns like you need to intermittently do protective styling i've said it so many times i will say it again i will say it until i'm blue in the face you do need to do some sort of protective styling if length retention if length retention jesus look at me a mess if length retention is what you are seeking Ooh, oh i don't know why all of a sudden i'm getting like stuffy Corona, you better stay away. New York is in a state of emergency, guys, officially. Governor Cuomo just said that, actually. Just press release, we're in a state of emergency, but we still gotta go to work, okay. Now the next thing that I'm going to suggest is to get you some hair supplements. Now, I used to be like, look, hair supplements don't work, it's a gimmick, it's a ploy to get me to go and buy something else that I don't need that's not gonna work. Let me tell you, when I got serious about taking care of my hair, I decided that I was going to go out and purchase 
a hair supplement. Some of you guys know that in my 2020 hair goals video, I, I mentioned that I had started using hair supplements. I'm using hair, skin, and nail vitamins right now. I actually stopped it because I'm Whole30 right now and the vitamins, the gummies that I was using are not compliant, so I switched over to biotin. But nonetheless, I've been using a hair vitamin for the last at least couple of months now. And I, guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, like I assure you, no exaggeration, not that I ever would, but no exaggeration, I, my hair has felt so strong in the last couple of months. I've gotta tell you. And ever since I started the hair, skin, and nail gummies, my nails have been so much healthier. They've grown out so much longer. My, my nail tech is just like, your nails are too long, we need to cut them. And I'm like, wait lady, wait, wait. I'm on nail, I'm on hair, skin, and nail vitamins. <laughs> It's a new me, it's a new me. You better keep that leg. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what is with me today. <laughs> but um, yo, this one piece, it's all right, we're, we're chill today. We're real chill today. I'm, I'm in that kind of chill kind of vibe right now. So I hope that you guys are down to vibe out with me because I'm just, I don't know, like, I just feel really strange today. But anyway, so these vitamins have made a world of difference. All right, you guys tell me, I feel like my hair is looking fuller. Let's pull the hair to the front here. Not necessarily longer, but it just looks like fuller. I just did a, I just washed my hair and did a blowout. I feel like our situation is looking pretty full. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if it's the hair vitamins or what, but I'm digging it. And in addition to the gummies that I've been using, I've been using Olaplex. Now, why didn't anybody tell me about this sooner? You know what? I am so skeptical to those crazes that I was like, you know what? I don't need, I don't need Olaplex. I don't need supplements or I don't need any of that. I can do it on my own. You can do it on your own, but it's just, it, it really does assist in the process. Olaplex for me has helped strengthen my hair. I literally, guys, I have never used a product in my life that has given me the, the, the strength that my hair has had in the last couple of months in that quickly, like ever, ever. I've used Afoji, um, the, the reconstructor, the two minute reconstructor. Honestly, it don't even come into comparison. Olaplex is so good for your hair. I also noticed reduced shedding starting the Olaplex. So there are just so many benefits. And now another thing that I think is really, really important to boosting your regimen, something that you can change tonight, something that you can change right now with the click of a button is your detangling tool. Now. I used to use a Demon brush to basically do everything for me, to detangle my hair, to help me blow dry my hair. I basically slept with my Demon brush, like it was my baby. But I have since, you know what, some of you guys actually helped me out with this because I was looking for a detangling tool for a while and I was kind of just on my own hunt and I asked you guys in a couple of videos, what detangler would you guys recommend? I purchased a few detanglers because I was like, well, these are pretty popular and have great reviews. Why not try them? They're these right here. This is the ultimate detangler right here by Tangle Teaser. This is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. This is the Easy Detangler. And this bad boy right here has an interesting name. Oh, and she's dirty. This is the Curly Hair Solutions Curl Keeper Flexi Brush right here. You saw me use this in my braid out video that I'll link above. Um, so these are the four detanglers that I have been using lately. When I tell you guys that I instantly noticed how much easier it was to detangle my hair using some of these brushes, it was like night and day. For me, this brush has been life changing. I mean, all of these brushes have been life changing in their own respects. And if you want me to do a longer tutorial or a longer video on just what I think of these brushes, then let me know. But these are the four brushes that I've been kind of using kind of randomly, but with different purposes as well. They have just made such a difference with my hair. Like it used to be so hard for me to detangle my hair because I'm text lax. I have so much texture. You guys see it when it's wet. There's a lot of texture in my hair. 
and there's a, just a lot of hair going on on top of my head. My detangling process now is so much easier because of these brushes. And like I told you, like I've used, I use them for different reasons. Like I use them for different reasons, but I've used all of them and they've all helped me in some way to detangle my hair and make my wash day, my detangling, just so much easier. So don't undervalue a good detangling tool. All right guys, so those are my top five tips that you can literally pick up right now, right now. Like literally pause this video right now, go online and find you a detangler that has great reviews, is at a decent price, or just buy one of these. Like, I like feel free to ask me questions in the comments below about them because I'm I'm more than happy to share my thoughts with you or I could just create a video on these tools themselves you guys let me know in the comments but go and do that right now set your alarm on your phone right now so that you remember to moisturize and seal don't forget it it's such an easy thing that we can do to keep up with our hair but we so often forget it and just just put it at the bottom of our priority list just do it now what protective style can you do? What can you tolerate for the next four weeks or so? Six weeks if you're feeling frisky or eight weeks if you're feeling bold. Like, what can you do to protect your hair so that you can really see some length retention? These things are literally things that you can do right now that are going to make a world of difference. Now the hair supplements, obviously it's going to take time for those to come into effect, but you can literally go on Amazon right now and get you a supplement right now and start your journey. All of these things, have helped me significantly on my journey so far. I hope that you guys like really do implement some of these things. If you're already implementing these things, then kudos to you, awesome job. Um, but you know, the rest of us, some of us just really need a little kick in the booty. And so I hope this video did that for you. Leave a comment down below letting me know any video requests that you have for the future. And hit the like button if this was helpful. And in the meantime, I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.